Okay, so more stuff that we need to copy over uh, would be the uh, key layout. So we're gonna copy the key layout folder. We're gonna put that in here. And uh, let's take a look. We'll move this to the old here real quick. And let's take a look at this key layout. So there's three files in here. In particular, we see under input, we see that we have these different key layouts. So how do we know these are the right key layouts or these are gonna help us for our device? And if you look at them, you open up and it's like the back, the home button, the search button, you know, uh, some of these are a little bit generic and some of these are the ones we actually use. Um, you know, volume up, down, home, focus, camera. You know, there isn't a camera button on this thing, so it's interesting that they specify it, but, um, you know, maybe that was on the other one. So we know it's in system user key layout because that's where it said that it's going to copy this to. So we go to our blue phone backup copy and we go to user uh, key layout and you see all these KL files. And these KL files, of course, are different key layout files. Now these vendor ones, theoretically, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about because the vendor ones are um, generic for lineage. Uh, let's uh, bring up QWERTY key layout there. We'll just open that item location, or maybe we'll look at the framework space. Um, there we go. So framework space data keyboards, and we see all of these keyboard layouts. So notice all the vendor ones down here at the bottom. So that should theoretically be the same from phone to phone. Those vendor ones are, are just generic. Um, one, unless there's one that you're missing. So these top ones though, uh, well actually all of them really, you would just check to make sure that uh, in the blue phone itself that you have a copy of all of these. So let's see, we're gonna take these top ones and we're gonna check to see if they exist or not. So if we uh, look for that file, we don't see it in here. So the Synaptic RMI4 and the Synaptic DSM, we look in here and they're not here. So since they're not here, somehow they have to get put in. And to get them put in, we would have to make sure that we put them in. Now QWERTY, of course, we see the QWERTY right there. Uh, so that one should be good. This QPNP underscore pawn. So we look and we don't see that in here. So we're going to have to deal with that. GPIEO, um, we don't see that one. Generic, of course, the generic one's right there. Uh, this FTS506, that's not in here. And this AVRCP is right here. So we know we need that one, that one, that one, and that one. So what we can do is we'll take these four files, we're gonna copy them and paste them in here. And we could just go ahead and replace the ones that are there because they should be, you know, um, the ones that match with this phone. So now in here, we have these three and, and uh, here on our phone, we have these ones. So we don't see this, uh, this TPFT one. So we can get rid of that because that's not on the actual phone and the phone works just fine without it. So we don't need to copy that over. So what we really need to deal with is these five files right here. Um, and we can close some of this stuff here, just kind of 
organizing, trying to keep organized anyways. So we need to deal with these uh, five files on our um, device, make files, and board config files. So let's copy this and search for this file just to make sure it's not hidden away somewhere else. Because otherwise we'll put it in and say, we want to copy ours over and there's already one there. So we're just waiting for the search to complete. Looks like the search is done and not there. Um, Let's jump back over here and we'll grab this one. Search for it to see if it exists somewhere in here. Searching. Now obviously you would do this with the files that you have on your phone. So here we go, we see this Synaptics DSX file. So it looks like here's some C files and stuff like that. So this is generated or built while you're compiling. So that's good to know. So we don't need to copy that file over because it's going to get built. Um, it's really odd. I would think this one would be too. We're going to copy this and try searching again without the .kl to see if it's something that gets built. Uh, the KL would be the end result, and we're trying to search to see if there's like a C file or something that, that gets compiled to actually make that work. And then we'll need to check for these other ones as well. <clears throat> Still searching. And oops, close my my folder there. All right, so we did not find that one anywhere. So now this QPNP, let's find this one or see if we can find it. Now it's interesting this Synaptics one looks identical to this ST5 one. And actually, if we bounce back and forth, they are verbatim identical. So one might wonder if you really need that other one at all. Or this QPNP, like some of these just really might not serve too much of a purpose at all. It really just depends if, uh, if something is pointing to them or not. You could just leave them out and see if you get any error on it, you know. Or you could uh, go ahead and put them in just to be complete. I don't know, maybe if they build for several different blue phones at a time, they may just throw a bunch of, of these files in here. Like these are the keyboard files. We'll throw them in there. They don't hardly take up any space. So it doesn't matter getting the right one for each device. Uh, notice that these all kind of clarify the same keys in the same ways. Um, so, Lots of different ways you can go as a developer on what you want to do with these. I'm kind of wondering if they really even matter since they're exactly the same. Let's go ahead and just delete it and see if we get some kind of error on it. We can always put it back in. Um, so these three files, I think, are what we're going to need. And hopefully why I think we're gonna need them kind of makes sense, but so we'll just copy and put this in here. And uh, let's take out this to-do for keyboard layout and save and back up our uh, work here. Let's see. W 
double check there's no keyboard layouts in the board config file. There shouldn't be. And again, a lot of this will be driven by um, you know what you're doing as far as uh, you know where you're getting your template from. So you just want to make sure you update it with the proper equipment for your phone. <laughs> 